Hey everybody, Audiophile Barista here. Welcome, this is vlog 134. In these vlogs I talk about audio, coffee and other things that keep me busy. So let's get this vlog started. Okay, as you can see, there is a lot of mess in my room. What is going on? Here's a lot of stuff that I put to the side because I am considering to buying a new couch. My couch is like a little L shape. So I have this one normally over there in front of the window. And this part is on the side of that, making it an L-shaped video and this couch is pretty old in need of renewal so I'm considering to buying a much wider couch and all the way up here in the corner also going a little bit over here so this is going to be a big big couch now the thing is that if I want to have it all the way up into the corner, this means that where the couch normally is, according to where it's going to be, it's going to be much closer to the wall. So this is just a tryout setup. If I can have a good listening spot when I'm closer to the wall, because closer to the wall is never really a good thing, especially considering base, because I am further back. This also means that the usual triangle that you have between the loudspeakers and the spot where you are listening is now bigger. So I placed my loudspeakers more, even wider apart than they were already. Now this meant that some things had to change because normally over here I had a big plant. That plant is now right over there. It's a beautiful one. It's pretty big. I like it. But it had to be removed from there to there. Now over there was another plant which is now over here behind the couch that's probably going to be a little bit higher at the end but this also was a little bit skinny as you can see it has this part this part and open here in the middle while the one that is now over there is much more full and I like that over there it looked a bit sad and a bit skinny when that one was in front of the window. But this one is pretty okay over here. Let's see if it works out, if there is a good spot for this one. I have a lot of light in my house because I have all these windows over here. And I have all these windows over there. And as you can see, there is an open spot over here because this is where my espresso machine used to be, should be, but it is broken. So I brought it to a repair guy and hope it's not a too serious of a problem. So it's not going to be too expensive, but it had to be brought because it was broken. And this is ironic because at the same time, now remember, maybe you remember, maybe you don't, but the sister of my girlfriend is an artist and she made these three wonderful 
paintings. These are actual paintings from the collection that I have. As you can see over here. And she made another one. Now I cannot show you the espresso machine because it's gone, but if you look over here, I received this just a few days ago. This is pretty big and this is my wonderful machine on paper. This is a one-off. This is the only one in existence and this painting is actually because it is a painting. This is an actual painting from my actual machine and I love it. So I have it over here temporarily because it's still a bit, the sides are still a bit up there so hoping to flatten it out a little bit. Then I have to find a nice place to put it. This is pretty cool. And over here downstairs, I'm still working on this little project about having small speakers in a small room, getting you a big sound and especially trying to play rock and trying to get a great sound stage, especially that is very difficult in the sound stage over here. But this is still going on. But one of the things after listening a lot to this system and playing a lot of rock music as i told you last time it also brought back a great appreciation for the big system that i have upstairs so i have also been listening with fresh ears to my system upstairs and a few days ago over here maybe you recognize these some mission loudspeakers these I found actually in a thrift store. Now the thrift store that we have over here always will have some audio equipment, some loudspeakers, but it's always very, very poor quality. These of course are some classics and if you can see over there, I picked these up for 35 bucks the pair and they sound very very sweet but that is going to be for another video but this was a wonderful find okay back to the couch because getting a new couch is nice but it's also very annoying i already told you that the listening position is further back making me change my listening triangle between the loudspeakers and the listening position but also normally you don't see this one this is my subwoofer a rel stadium 2 wonderful subwoofer but this is normally behind the couch. That's why you mostly never see this in my videos, in my vlogs, but it is always there. Now, this is a ported system. And over here, I have another subwoofer, another rail. This is a closed system. Now, I prefer for stereo setup, I prefer a closed system subwoofer it makes for much more speed i think it is the better choice this one when i feel like it or playing music with a lot of bass i would love to add this one also to the system but mostly when i play movies i am using this one because as you know may know have seen over here I have my wonderful Epson projector and over here so this is my viewing screen this is where I watch my movies which is also a very very enjoyable experience especially with a setup like this no surround sound just stereo and one 
two subwoofers. Now, if I use this subwoofer only for adding to stereo, I turn down the uh, frequency, the upper frequency all the way down, the lowest that it plays, and then it only adds music or bass when the very, very low frequencies are added to the music. Other than that, I'm just relying on the other rel. And for movies, I open up the frequency uh, much higher. So that are all things that come with getting a new couch. A lot of things has to change. Anyways, that is what I'm experimenting with. But there is one thing, the main reason that I wanted to make this vlog is because there is a party of audio who is a which is a Dutch YouTube channel and they are make they have made recently some very big progress in measuring interlinks and that is the last item that I want to talk to you about today okay so Alpha Audio a Dutch YouTube channel has done a deep dive into measurements measuring interconnects for the last I believe months, four months, five months, maybe half a year that they spend a lot of time measuring and listening to interconnects. And they found out some very interesting stuff that could mean the solution to do cables make a difference and why do they make a difference. And it appears that they have part of the solution. Now this video just recently came out and they have a very big article where they explain it in depth. They have a very long, I believe three hour video where they do the actual listening test. This is a live stream that you can watch all the way. And they have an 18 minute video. And that's what I just uh, watched, an 18 minute video where they explain where these interconnect differences are explained now it's very technical so i'm not going to embarrass myself by trying to explain it it has to do with speed in the cable and they measure at a very very high resolutions in pico what is it picoseconds and there appears to be differences and they appear to be able to relate it to their listening test now, as I said, I'm not going to explain it over here. I will put the link down in the description box to all those videos so you can watch it for yourself. They just put it out uh, this week and it's very interesting stuff. And of course, I was curious what is going to happen in the comment section. If you do that, there's always this skeptics that will tell you it's all between your ears and all cables sound the same and now because they always ask well show us the science show us the measurements and then alpha audio comes out with measurements and then of course they say yeah well not those measurements mainly the biggest objection is that they were measuring at a very high frequency somewhere in the 500 megahertz region of course the skeptics are very so very quick by saying well you we can't hear that well the video and the article explains of course what the effect is on the audible frequency but you know People only want to hear and read what they want to read. And if it doesn't fit their own bias, then they will skip it. But I thought this was a very, very big moment for the people who understand that cables just make a difference. And there is of course always the fact that a lot of people experience differences when listening to cables. But the question was always, why? are we experiencing difficult uh, differences most of the skeptics will say well all cables cables measure the same so there should not be any difference but my thing was always if we don't know why we experience differences how do you 
think you know what to measure. And that is where Alpha Audio made a difference. They started looking, okay, where are the things that are creating measurable differences? I invite you, I'm going to have a deeper look and read the article that they have. It's very extensive. Um, I'm going to dive into it much more because I just saw this video yesterday. But today I want to inspire you to take a look at those videos, take a look at the article and react on it. Most skeptics react that those measurements don't work. Now, of course, they don't show the science to back up that claim. That's what I always find very irritating on skeptics. They will say, when you, do, when you make a claim, the first thing they say, well, show us the science, show us the measurements. And then at the same time, they will say, well, it's all in your head, but never provide any, any evidence that that actually is. Their favorite go-to is, of course, the blind listening test. But I've talked about that before. I won't do it again. But there are a lot of problems in only relying on a blind listening test. For one, which is my opinion, is that a blind listening test does not test for bias. It will show you that it's difficult under those circumstances to distinguish differences, but where skeptics directly go see, you can't hear it, therefore it's between your ears. I believe that is not correct. That is a conclusion that they jump to because of their own bias. And today I think I got a little bit of vindication because of these tests that Alpha Audio did. So I want to give them all the credits. I want to invite you to go and have a look at it. And then I will end this video, this vlog. You see, these days I'm very busy. I am trying out also all these things apart from all the work that I have. So there are no update videos like what I'm doing downstairs with the small system, small room, big sound. But I did want to give you a vlog for today. And this is it. Tomorrow, today's Friday, tomorrow I'm going to the Amsterdam Coffee Festival. And I hope this weekend I will give you a lot of shorts about this and I will talk to you next week. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.